Yeah, Glenn and Lou, a really big crowd out here. They are angry, they are sad, and it's hard to believe as we stand under the palm trees and sunshine to imagine what is going on some 6,000 miles away. You could see the crowd stretching down Ocean Avenue. Uh, just a few moments ago, a speaker stepped up to the podium here. He said, I am Ukrainian. My people are dying. America is not doing enough. They want uh, Americans to step up and protect the air above their skies. They say that they can take care of the fighting on the ground but they need air support right now. They have signs that say things like, I stand with Ukraine. Putin is a bully. Just a little while ago, I got a chance to talk to a Ukrainian soldier. He is on the front line fighting the Russian army. We're going to hear from him in a moment. But first, more of the outrage of the Ukrainian community here in L.A., really horrified by what is happening and terrified that no other countries are coming to their aid. We talked with Dasha. Her family is in Kyiv. She is desperate to organize volunteers from Poland to drive supplies into Ukraine. She tells us that uh, millions of innocent people are trapped there in Kyiv. They are underground hiding from missiles. She also tells us the markets and all the stores there are now closed and people are running out of food. It's impossible to buy anything, even if you have money. So we need real like help and someone who can take the car and bring it to, to Kyiv and help to uh, those people who defend my city. Every man right now is currently defending their territory, defending their houses. Um, and uh, all those um, people, they need helmets, they need walkie-talkie, they are under attack and they are trying to defend the city, the five million city by themselves. Also, Dasha's friend is there. He is in Kyiv. He is fighting on the front lines. He tells us she contacted him on her cell phone for us. He's a lieutenant in the Ukrainian Airborne Brigade and says the Ukrainian soldiers are simply outnumbered. They are outpowered. I had a chance to speak with him as he said he had to step away from his duty. Ukrainians will resist. We have strong uh, moral, uh, uh, but we need equipment because even though our spirit is high, we, uh, we are re uh, ready to fight. We are ready to protect our country, but we need the, the equipment because we are dealing now with the second military power in the world. We need strong air support. We need anti-aircraft uh, launch pads. We need uh, anti-aircraft missiles, and we need uh, uh, first aid kits as well as basic plate carriers because we are lacking those radio stations and uh, basically any protective gear because uh, there are many volunteers who are willing to protect our cities. Again, the lieutenant says Ukraine is holding its own on the ground right now, but they desperately need air support, and that is what the folks from Ukraine are telling us here in Los Angeles as well. This protest uh, at the foot of the Santa Monica Pier expected to last for a few more hours. I can tell you that yesterday when we covered the protest in Westwood, it was mainly Ukrainians who were out there and a few Russians. Today, there are many more Americans out here to support Ukraine. We are live in Santa Monica. I'm Sandra Mitchell, KTLA 5 News. By the way, behind us, they are chanting, stop the war and other things in Ukraine. Glenn and Lou, we'll send it back to you.